What up, though, y'all? It's Jay Pitts, and I'm back with Jay's Fade Five of the Week, presented by Jay Nation. Man, clap it up, man. We done made it to episode four, man. Clap it up, snap it up, wherever you at. Drop a like on this video already. So as y'all know, I picked five videos that I posted on my story that I thought was interesting or funny or something that I just want to share to y'all my opinion on. But we also can expand this, too, because I saw some very interesting and funny stuff on TikTok as well. So I got five posts. And this first one, we going to start off. Off. it was a bus driver on his way home from bringing the kids from school and man them kids was vibing they had some soul check this out That bus driver lit, man. He he enjoying his job. Just, you know what I'm saying? That's somebody that you know you can trust when you, he get on the bus. He asking everybody how their day going, you know. Just having a good vibe. We need more of that in the world. Oh, my goodness. For this next one, y'all. I, I Man, this one drew tears from my eyes. You know, it's just certain white people that got rhythm, right? Like, they, they not try hard. They don't be over here trying to get an invite to the cookout. But you, you know, you don't see them. They doing their thing. You be like, you know what? Hey, 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 hey. Hey, hey, you cool. But this right here, they said which one of these guys is coming to the cookout based on their dances. <laughs> Be honest. Be honest in the comment section. Check this out. Yo, listen, Jerry, Michael, Brad, I'm sorry, but I got to reject all of y'all. I do. I don't know about the other people, the viewers, the listeners, but Brad, what was this? What, what, are, we, what, are, we, what are we doing? And Jerry, stop looking at me, bro. It's not going to, like, it's something just not right about this. I'm not saying that the movement's not lit, like, they're not able to, like, get down, because, you know, most a lot of people can't get down like that, but at the same time, something just seems off to me, to me. Michael, bro. Michael, why you got the dashiki on? Why you got the dashiki on, Michael? Who you trying to pull? Michael come in to try to get chose at one of these Burner Boy concerts, man. Oh, my God. <laughs> Whew, you know when them ladies come to the Burner Boy concerts, they're not looking for you, Michael. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. It's all love, though. You know, I'll save you a plate. You feel me? I'll put some, I'll put some foil on it. You know, meet me at the front door. Yo, this next one. This actually was a Disney episode uh, on The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody that Chris Brown was featured in. I actually remember this episode and watching it growing up, but I didn't know it got wiped off the face of the earth um i mean i get it a lot of stuff get wiped off the face of the earth when when celebs face controversy i ain't really gonna speak on that at least today shoot i don't know but i think chris brown is dope obviously but check out this clip right here Every time they did something hip hop in Disney, they brought the wackest beats on some. It's hip hop. It's rap. It's urban. It's black. I'm like, why? Why can't y'all get some actual good beats? The early 2000s had some dope stuff. <laughs> Looking back, it's cringy and corny. Chris Brown did this thing, but apparently they have it streaming on other in other countries episodes. But it's episode 20, and it goes from 19 in America to 21. They said Chris Brown, now you ain't getting no airtime in America. But this one I pulled this post from No Labels Necessary. It was a clip from Joe Budden's podcast where they were addressing record labels are now saying artists cannot re-record to redistribute their own music until 30 years after the deal is done they're putting that in the clause now let me break this down for people that don't understand how labels work or contracts work when you sign a record deal 9.9 .9 times out of 10 you do not own your masters you might not own your publishing the record label is going to get the lion's share of the profit. So why would anybody want to sign? Well, usually they hand you a nice fee up front. And if they're going to give you a marketing budget and you can do shows, you get to keep about 65% of the money from the shows because you got to pay like two and a half percent to your tour manager, two and a half percent to your booking agent, 5% to your lawyer, another 5% to your business accountant, and then usually about 10 to 20% to your manager. I think that leaves you with about 65%. But that's 
the bulk of the lion's share of the money that you're going to get from shows, from sponsorships, from endorsements. And if you use your marketing budget right, you can eat good. But stream side and, and music sales side, the label is going to take the lion's share of that. Usually you might end up with 10%, sometimes even 4% of that. So Taylor Swift, you might be vaguely familiar with her uh, background with the labels and just Scooter Braun and how her music was sold and different things like that. So Taylor decided, you know what, I'm going to go and record, re-record my entire catalog and redistribute it because I can't use the records that I recorded with the label because they own them. And because Taylor has done this and the fans have come behind her to support and not listen to the old stuff, but buy all the new stuff and stream all the new stuff, which is just the re-recording of her old stuff. And she's made a killing off of it so far. Labels are like, oh, no, 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 no. We need to watch our pockets in the future. So instead of allowing artists to make money off of their own work in, in the way in which they want, they make it extremely difficult. I think it's trash. One of the reasons why I stay away from labels until I don't need one, because honestly speaking, nothing's gonna be in your favor on a record deal unless one, you're lucky, which is a one in a billion. Two, you already popping where you making money to where you don't need a label. So you get to enter in with some leverage and you like, hey, here's how I want it. DDG is a great example of that. And lastly, if you know somebody on the inside, somebody up top that just wants to, you know, usually that means you're a plant. You know, somebody, the label decides that, uh, hey, we're going to use this person. We're going to put money behind this person. They don't got to do nothing to get to where they at. We got them. Those are favors. Usually you got to be born into a famous family for that to happen. Because if you smart enough to get you a good record deal, like a great one that's going to pay you, you probably smart enough to have applied that in other areas of your life that make you money to where you wouldn't be seeking money from a record label if that makes sense so yeah man this last one i feel like y'all be able to relate to so i was talking to my wife right and um we as you know getting our little thanksgiving plans together and everything who we gonna be with how we gonna do things and she was like yeah we could talk about that later though because who how long we got to thanksgiving i said <laughs> next week she said next week and then i seen this meme time <laughs> is slipping away from me Yo, time is slipping away. It is slipping away, man. It just feels like this month has gone by so fast. And just so we clear, I don't give a damn. Like, I am not out here celebrating colonialism or anything that happened in regards to the history of Thanksgiving. Not that I care what y'all think, but just to set the record straight, because I'm here for the food. If Thanksgiving wasn't about family coming together and simply re like restructuring that to give thanks for just each other's presence, like, I feel like after COVID, people just wanted to see their family and want to be together and come together and be thankful that everybody's alive i lost people during COVID. my time orientation and my concept of time has just been trash since that time but i hope y'all got some good plates coming up next week and i don't know how y'all do thanksgiving but after the day of thanksgiving we be eating thanksgiving for breakfast lunch and dinner for the next three days yeah that's how we get down over here appreciate y'all for joining me for jay's fave five of the week presented by J nation like this video if this is youtube make sure you subscribe if this is instagram or tiktok please make sure you follow for more what was your favorite one let me know in the comment section and thank y'all so much for watching until next time